everyone, it's Jaden. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. So recently this update came out, I think it's called iOS 14, where you can like customize your pretty much whole home screen. And I was like, yes. So I did that and I decided that since I just customized my phone, I would do a what's on my iPhone video, an updated one because my phone has changed a lot. Let's get started. This is what is on my iPhone. So to start out, the case that I'm currently using is this floral one from Urban Outfitters, but I change my cases pretty frequently between this one from Urban Sophistication. I got a Snapchat. And also this other one from Urban Sophistication, or is this from? Yes, I think this is from Urban Sophistication. And then this one, which is like a mirror. You can see yourself, the camera that I'm filming on, but it just says self-love, I am everything I need from Merch Amsterdam. So those are the video, <laughs> what? So those are the cases that I mainly use. To start out my lock screen is Annie and I. I thought it was a cute picture. It was cool that we're like looking at the time. I thought that was cool, so that's my lock screen. All right, slide up. This is my first page. This first page is white themed, as you can tell. At the very top, I have this little widget that says the time and the date, and I just used an app called Color Widgets to do this. I will show you how I did that later. The apps I have on this page are, first of all, camera, right? And as you can see, it went to a little app before it went to the camera app. And that is because I used an app, saying app so many times, but I used an app called Shortcut to customize the cover of each of my apps. And I will show you how you can use that later. But for right now, on this first page, I have camera, Instagram, Safari, TikTok, music, photos, and Visco. I just customized all the covers with some cute little images. And I also made all the titles of each app lowercase because I hate uppercase letters. And then on the right, I just have this cool artistic photo of like, two faces and I used an app called Photo Widget to get that. Again, I will explain how I customized it at the end. I'm just gonna first show you all the apps that I have on my phone. Next is the red themed page and I know I'm missing an app and I'm going to fill that in. I just got too lazy. But on the top left, I have the music widget which just shows what music I listen to the most. Obviously, Hobo Johnson. I have the YouTube app, the Pinterest app, the Remini app. This app is basically, as you can see by the weird photo, it like enhances, it, it, it almost like clarifies and makes your photos more distinguishable. So let's say you have like a really blurry photo, it would like make it clearer. Does that make sense? Also, this is not sponsored. I just like the app. I also have the Netflix app, the Ch Chick-fil-A app, but I named it Chicky Fills because I call Chick-fil-A Chicky Fills. The Millennium app, which is a dance studio, and then the YouTube studio app. Also, fun fact, for the YouTube, the Pinterest, and the YouTube studio app, I didn't actually change the cover because the covers that came with it were really cute anyways. And I wanted all of my covers to be like images that weren't squares. They were just, you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. And those just happen to be like that, so. And then in the middle, I have this strawberry photo. I used Widget Smith to get that. And then on the bottom right, I have this angel devil photo and I used Widget Smith to put that there too. All right, next is the orange page. In the top center, we have this picture of this cat with like devil horns. I thought it was cute. On this page, we have Video Shop. Video Shop is basically the app that you can add filters and trim things and add audio to. I just use it to edit some videos. Video Crop, which lets you crop videos. And I actually got this app before they updated where you can now crop videos just in your camera roll before you couldn't do that. So I had to use an app. Now I don't really need it anymore. Next is Mind Body. This is like an app that I see dance classes. Kind of boring. And then Calculator. But again, all the covers are customized. But I'm sure you could have guessed that by literally looking at it. Um, next is Yellow. The top left, I have this. I don't even know what it's a picture of. Something yellow. And then the two apps I have on this are YOLO and Snapchat. I don't even know what YOLO is. What is YOLO? Oh, you get like anonymous message on it. I have never used it. Or I think I have a couple times, but not for a while. And then Snapchat. You know Snapchat. It's Snapchat. My Snapchat is Miss Shaden B. Snap if you want to follow me. Also love how I just completely tore apart my necklace. We're just gonna put that back there. And then we also have this photo of a bee. I don't know, thought it was cool. It's yellow, whatever. Next is green. I love this page so much. So at the top, we have this little cartoon image. I think it's something related to Hello Kitty. Gonna be honest, don't even know what show it's from, but I've seen it all over like TikTok and I know it's like, I know the gist. No, I don't. I thought it was a cute picture if I'm gonna be really honest. Okay, and then the apps I have are FaceTime, Spotify, Find My iPhone, but I named it Find My Phone, which is basically a thing that lets you find your, find people, find, well, it's a thing that lets you find your phone. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Messages, Hulu, and Bitmoji. And then the two images I have on the bottom are this little frog that's a painter and then this cool cartoon that I just thought was cool. On the next page, it's blue. This one took forever. 
oh my god anyways the applications i have are spotify artists which lets artists on spotify see how many streams their music is getting mail paypal Zoom, Weather, Waze, which is like something I use to get directions to places. Ortho Pulse, which is what I use for my retainer, and it like tracks if I use it. Safari, Dropbox, DMV Genie, which is what I use to study for my driver's test or not driver's test, permit test, would highly recommend. MG Light, which controls the light right behind the camera. Video Collage, this app is cool. You basically can put multiple videos on one page. I like it a lot. Twitter, Disney Plus, the App Store, and Shazam. And then I also have a weather widget in the middle, which I really never used, it was just blue. So I just put it there. Next is Purple, I like this page. So I didn't have a lot of applications left, so I decided to make it just all widgets. And I have one of a UFO, one of someone skating, one of a third eye and one of some ghosts. I just thought it was really cute and multiple different aesthetics combined, which I thought was cool. And then the last page is pink. I really don't like this page at all, but it took so much time, so I'm gonna leave it. At the top, we have just a little photo that says the end. In the middle, there's a photo that says boys, ugh. And I actually have the same photo hung on my wall. I just love it. The apps I have on this are famous birthdays, iTunes store, Instagram, what? Oh, I. I accidentally named two of them Instagram. The one on the very right, the balloon animal, is supposed to be a different app. But anyways, so that is what my phone looks like. Now let me show you how I did it. So, to get this white one on the top, I used an app called Color Widgets. And basically, I just chose the very top one because it matched perfectly. This is the app that I used, and it only has widgets that show the time and date, but you can customize all of them, so that's pretty cool. But I only have one of these on my phone. Next is Photo Widget, and I only used Photo widget for this first photo because it doesn't really work well so I wouldn't recommend so I'm not even gonna take the time to show you it because you can't do more than one and it like shape but it's just not fun to use and you can only do one widget so it's not I wouldn't recommend but widget Smith is what I used for all of my other widgets let me show you this is the best invention ever so basically these are all the widgets that I have you just could do a small one a medium one or a large let's say I wanted to do a small you just say add small widget right click on it Edit the name to whatever you want it to be. I just did them by color so I knew which one is which, but for now I'll just call it YouTube video because that's what I'm filming. Then you click on it, scroll down a little, go to photo, click the bottom little tab, choose photo, and then you can just choose whatever photo you want. Let's say I just wanted to choose this one of the sunset, then you would tap back, press save, right? Then you go to your home screen, edit home screen, at the top left, there's a plus button. Then you scroll all the way down to Widget Smith. You choose whichever size one you just did. So let's say you just made a small one, then you would choose a small one. Okay, well I just messed up my whole layout, but that's okay, it's for the YouTube video. And then it already automatically updated to the photo I wanted, but let's say it didn't, you press Edit Widget, and then you just choose which widget you want out of all your widgets. Widget, 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 widget. I wonder how many times I said that. But yeah, that is how I used Widget Smith. All the other ones were either color widgets, which I showed, photo widget, which is trash, or widgets that came with the phone, which you just get by going like this. You just go edit home screen, top left plus, and then they give you some options already if you don't want to use apps. Future Jaden popping in here. I forgot to show you how I customized the cover of all my apps, so let me do that right now. I use this app called Shortcuts. Basically, how you customize an app is press the plus at the top right, press Add Action, Scripting, Open App, press the little Choose button, search whatever app you want to customize the cover of. I will just use Calculator as an example. Press the three little dots, name it, whatever you would like. I'll just name it calculator. Add to home screen. Press the image at the bottom left. Choose photo. Choose whatever photo you would like. Let's just say I chose this one of me. <laughs> Choose. Rename it once again. You have to do it twice for some reason, which I don't understand. Press add. It should say added to home screen. Press done and done once more. Then if you go to your home screen, it should be right there. Hope that tutorial helped. So that's how I made my home screen, and that is my phone, that's what's on it. All the apps I use are pretty standard. I don't have any like cool apps that no one knows about. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like, subscribe, stream my music, follow me on Instagram, all that jazz. Also, I am posting a bonus video sometime this week. So I'm posting twice this week, once today, Wednesday, and then probably either Friday or Saturday, I'll post a bonus video. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.